Hi everybody, welcome back and today we will be covering something that I think is really important for us to understand and that is how to use the Aquasol millivolt simulator and monitor properly on a tech call. As you may be aware, uh, a few months ago we edited the tech call forms uh, to capture the set points in a new way. So we're no longer asking for the clock face dial on the, for the set point. We now are requesting that as a millivolt signal. So in this video, we cover how to capture that set point on arrival as well as departure. As, and we also talk about how to use that signal generator to adjust the set points on the controller to make it a little bit easier and take some of the guesswork out. It's very important that we're capturing the set point on arrival in millivolts as well as on departure. This helps us to understand if something has been messed with while we're not there or if something's going wrong with the controller. So please, please, please uh, watch this video. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Uh, you can also put your questions in Slack, or if for some reason you're uncomfortable with your question, feel free to send it to me as a direct message in Slack, a text message to my cell phone, 713-202-6858, or an email to kmcgauley at poolsure.com. Thank you. First, we will be discussing how to use the Aquasol millivolt signal generator to determine the set points on a controller. The first step is to make sure that the signal generator is powered on by selecting both of the power switches on either side of the unit, and then making sure that the PH output B cable is connected to the PH BNC on the controller, as well as the ORP output on the ORP BNC for the controller. We then make sure that both of the selector switches on the front of the signal generator are set to simulate. This will allow us to send a millivolt signal to the controller. I'll begin with the ORP channel. By turning the knob on the ORP channel of the signal generator, I'm able to simulate a signal until I find the point where the ORP feed channel is turning on and off. Here we find that it's turning on and off at 700 millivolts. Next, I will use the pH channel to find the point where the controller is turning on and off for the pH feed channel. Here we find that it's turning on and off at negative 28 millivolts. So on my tech call form, I would record the ORP set point in millivolts at 700 millivolts on arrival, and the pH set point in millivolts on arrival would be negative 28 millivolts. Next we'll be discussing adjusting the set points using the signal generator. Before the signal generator was introduced, technicians would have to adjust set points by moving the knob, the number of millivolts offset they would like from what the probe was generating. Now with the signal generator, we can simply send a signal for the exact set point we're looking for and adjust the controller to turn on and off at that point. So here I'll adjust the ORP millivolt signal from the signal generator to 640 millivolts and then adjust the controller for it to turn on and off at that point. Now we'll use the signal generator to adjust the pH offset. In this scenario, the generator acting as the probe is sending a signal of negative 28 millivolts. However, the pH of the pool is 7.4. So we will offset the millivolt reading by six millivolts to negative 34 millivolts, and then adjust the controller to turn on and off at that reading. This will effectively set the controller to maintain a pH of 